What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another HTB video and as you guys can see in front of you today we got who we can all agree is the greatest shooter of all time. 99 overall dark matter bracket buster Steph Curry man in his youth the baby faced assassin himself and one thing I gotta say off the bat man this 2k card art is so fire the whole crowd in the background the cartoon look of the card 2k has absolutely killed it with the card arts this year plus when you look at his actual name you can see there's literal brackets in there nonetheless though we're here to focus on the actual player himself wardell stephen curry do i think this card is going to be one of the best point guards in the game in my opinion not necessarily but i still think he's going to be an elite card to use in my team the question is will he be worth picking up for the likely expensive price that he'll go for because his name is steph curry well that's what we're here to find out as always if you guys are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button we're on that grind to 300k just over 3k away from that goal y'all been going so crazy recently on the channel i don't know why but i appreciate y'all a ton and if we manage to get 1200 likes on this video i got y'all with a dark matter kareem video later today but with that being said man let's take a look at the light skin assassin himself 99 offense 99 defense standing at six foot three that's all great the only problem is there's a lot of taller point guards in the game now but some people still can get the job done with these regular guards so if you're one of those people then you don't gotta worry too much 98 driving layup 95 draw foul 98 mid-range 99 three ball no surprise there 98 free throw 80 driving dunk is more than usable definitely give him a shoe and things are even better right there you got the 98 ball handle with solid passing 97 steel 94 perimeter defense definitely recommend you give him a shoe for the interior if you're gonna run this card because he's already 6'3 might as well make the defense as good as you can in that interior 97 speed down the line though decent vertical not the greatest strength 97 lateral quickness and the mental game's looking good now as far as the defensive tendencies on this man they're actually not bad 97 pass 97 on ball that can definitely be a problem and then when we get to the badges you got 24 hall of fame badges and 36 gold so it looks like every week man these dark matters are getting more and more hall of fame badges but uh we're looking at hall of fame catch and shoot hall of fame corner specialist difficult shots acrobat dimer me mama the pickpocket the clamps quick chain interceptor that's nice mismatch expert is beautiful lucky number seven blinders circus threes limitless spot up chef downhill handles for days Quick first step, clutch shooter, dead eye sniper, stop and pop, green machine, and volume shooter. That is some deadly offensive Hall of Famers with some very key defensive ones as well. Now the animated one, I think he gets like Hall of Fame ankle breaker or something. So if that's worth it to you, go pay that premium. But I don't understand the people that are paying 300k extra for Hall of Fame ankle breaker. But uh, we got the gold fearless finisher, teardropper, hyperdrive, glue hands, pick dodger, intimidator, pogo stick, tireless defender, fade ace, rhythm shooter shooter slithery finisher needle threader set shooter i mean this guy's got a lot of the badges in the game at this point that are pretty important the hot zone hunter the bullet passer the bigger question here is what badges is he really gonna need and number one is that brick wall that's gonna be a must-have rim protector is gonna be another must-have especially if you're standing at six foot three and post riser wouldn't be too bad if you give him a shoe so he can get contact dunks rebound chaser and post lockdown never hurt anybody mouse in the house is useless but limitless takeoff that might be worth it on this card but aside from that man he comes with a lot of the badges that you really need to succeed with a card so the question is how good will this steph curry really be well that's what we're here to find out without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's hop into a game and let's see what Wardell here can do for us today let's get into it all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another HTB gameplay we are up against the scariest point guard on next gen right now dark matter Luca we're gonna have to see what Curry can do luckily we got him on Scotty Pippen so that shouldn't be too bad Patrick Ewing trying to get the block and that doesn't work out all right let's see what the light skin assassin can do for us today a little crossover got him Curry side oh where are you going Luca bang Steph Curry starting things flashy, man. That Curry slide, definitely not as OP as it was in previous years, but it's so deadly, man. That's good defense. Let's go, artists. We getting steals. Go right to Curry, then to Ewing. Beautiful transition offense, and we're getting the dunk. Let's go, man. As long as we don't let Luka touch the ball, we're going to be all right. Beautiful crossover. Oh, yeah, let me test that driving dunk. Yes, sir, man. Only an 80, but as long as that's enough to give me an animation, we're chilling. That's better than a layup. Come on, give me one good screen. There we go. Got him. Low. Behind the back. I was hoping he'd jump at that. He doesn't. So, Luca's gonna stay, you know, 
Little stabilize. Cross him up. Thank you. Got him. We gone. All the way to the basket. Hey! Let's go, Curry. Definitely hasn't been our hottest quarter, but that's okay. Curry, little crossover. Thank you. Got him off the screen. Easy three. He set no help there with David Robinson, and we're knocking it down. Let's see if we can get the rest of the team going. Slip that screen as quick as possible. He's not sending any help. I'm going all the way with Curry. Oh, my goodness. Imagine if this man had Hall of Fame posterizer. Luka has not shot 1-3 tonight. Look at the defense we're playing. Good defense there by LeBron, and that's considered wide open. All right, man, we're in the second quarter. Up against the other dominant point guard right there, Cade Cunningham. Artis Gilmore holding it down on defense. No, I'm not jumping. Now I am. That's an easy block. Come on. We're running in transition. Kobe, stay in the corner, or I'm driving to the basket. There it is. Dimer me, mama. Give me all three of those. Steph Curry can be a playmaker too, man. Let's keep facilitating on offense, man. A little crossover. Got him, man. Snatch back. Yes, sir. I'm going into a moving three. Steph. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, no. This card is fun, man. He might not be the best point guard in the game, but he's definitely going to be one of the more fun cards in the game to use. That's a steal. How do we not get the ball there? That's crazy. Good defense there, artist. Good defense there, Curry. That's what you love to see, and he's got to intentionally foul me there, man. I'm loving what this team is doing. We're playing great defense here, just not the best offense. Trying to get around that screen, thank you. He's fighting around every screen and making it way too easy to get an open three. Should have low-key gotten a steal there, but hey, man. These servers are so bad on Fridays. Got him, thank you. Steph Curry into a three. Another easy green just like that. I'm surprised I was 8% covered. I don't remember if I have Hall of Fame blinders or not. Look at this. He's going to hit the square button. Thank you. Behind the back. Yes, sir. We gone. See you later, Kawhi. All the way through. I almost got blocked there, but we're putting it down. I got to get the bench in here, though. We're not playing any defense. Our dudes are tired. We got the bench in here with Curry. Dwight Howard sets some of the best screens. Hit that screen. Thank you. All the way. Like, he's not sending any help off that big man. I I'm honestly confused, but it is what it is. Get the ball to Curry. Dwight, I need you on a pick and fade because this is going to work out perfectly. Running around. That's an easy mid-range. Like, you're not playing. Why aren't you switching to your big man? I'm confused. Send some help that way. Good defense there by Mullen. Baiting that corner throw. We're running. Curry, I see you. And he's going to intentionally foul, sending us to the line. This guy's idea of defense and offense, I'm honestly a little bit confused on. But, hey, y'all are here to watch the Wardell Stephen Curry show. And that's what you're going to get. Good defense, good defense. Rudy Gay, I need you to hold it down for me, baby. Let's go. Get to the corner. Try to get there with Mullen, and we draw. He draws the foul. That's tough. All right, boys, we're in the second half. I'm liking what I'm seeing from my team. Dwight Howard, all the way to the basket. This is a nice little mismatch. Come on, you're a dog. Don't get cooked here by Rudy Gay. Easy dunk or easy layup. I'll take that, but yeah, I'm trying to dish some assists a little bit. I'm definitely going to get some more threes, though. Just like that, man, it's a four-point game. I notice he plays one side really hard, so we get that easy crossover all the way to the basket. That's an easy dunk, and we're putting it down. He doesn't want me to get around the screen, so if we can convince him that the screen is going to be used for something, that's a bucket. I'm going to try to get the ball through the rest of my teammates here running in circles. Dwight Howard, top of the key. Pump fake, get in the post. I know you're tougher than D-Rob, pump fake. Pump fake, he's in the air. That's an easy layup. I'll take it. You can't be reaching, man. Good defense there by Dwight Chris Mullen. Oh, I got to give it to Curry. Look at this. I'm going dunk stick. Stupid. Hey, I tried it. That's me being stupid. Man, Curry's getting exhausted. Cross him up. Thank you. Curry side. Got him into a step back. Oh, easy mid-range. <laughs> that is Wardell Stephen Curry. I'm going to try to get some pressure off Curry here by running his twin. Ping diamond or not ping diamond. Dark matter Chris Mullen. Way too open for three there with Curry. Had to take a second. Wasn't sure if he was going to jump with someone. And that's another three. Hit that screen. Curry side out of that. Yes, sir. All the way to the basket. Let him jump. He's jumping. That's an easy layup. And that's another two points for Curry. We've got that Luka absolutely box. If he gets no room, then he can't shoot the ball. He's got to throw it back. Good defense. Get there. Get David Robinson with the block. You love to see it. Good defense there by Rudy Gay. Come on. We got to be running, boys. That was a bad pass. We recover. Curry, catch and shoot. That's an easy green. Another three to the dome. Give me all three of those. I honestly thought Luca was going to be more of a problem. Vanessa, thank you. Stop it. We got that takeover. You know I'm pulling from way downtown. And another three is going down. 37 points for the light skin assassin. All right, boys. It's the fourth quarter. Still got takeover. I know he's going to bite around those screens. So stop it. He's behind me. Got to pull that three. And that's another green, man. Don't shoot that. Patrick Ewing with an insane block. Get the ball. Please give it right to Curry. I'm stopping out here. Thank you. Stopping. Popping. That's way too deep. That's not going to work. That would have been nuts. Come on, Curry. You know what to do. Beautiful burst. I'm going to go all the way to the basket. He's giving me way too open of a lane, and we're just going to put it down. 
Again, I don't understand why he's not switching to his big there because that's an easy help. Easy rebound there for Curry. He's trying to dunk stick and it's not working out for him. Easy crossover. Ewing, I need you to get out of my way, man. Beautiful step back. Thank you. Inside to Ewing, then to Artis. Easy layup right there. Easy bucket. And uh, yeah, at this point, we're chilling on offense. Great help there by Patrick Ewing. No way. He goes all the way. Not with Kobe chilling there. I got LeBron. He's going to be the playmaker. Patrick Ewing. Dimer me, mama. Bang. I am really liking what I've seen from Curry tonight, though. That off-ball deodorant. Run it back one more time. Curry, top of the key. Pump fake that. Let's go right to the king. Pump fake that again. Right back to Curry. Easy three. Oh, I thought that was going to be a foul, and it is. He might be out of here on that note. Nope. Instead, we're going to see Curry's first free throws of the night. As soon as I saw Kawhi Leonard, it's either he was jumping into a foul or it was going to be a clean block. I had to take my chances there, and it worked out. This is about to be 45 points right here for Wardell, man. Minute 40 here to go. Little Curry. Got him. Easy crossover. Going down the middle. Thank you for not helping there, Kawhi, because I got myself an easy dunk. We can be humble here or we can go for one more bucket. I'm definitely not humble. Little spin move. Pump fake inside to my big man. Easy dunk. One more assist to end the night off there. And that's the game. All right. So big GG's to my opponent here, man. We're going to win this game 73 to 53, courtesy of Steph Curry himself. Let's go ahead. Let's check out the box score. And let's see our boy did. All right, so as you guys can see, man, the baby-faced assassin put on a show in 20 minutes. Steph had 47 points, two rebounds, four assists, one steal. He did have four turnovers, and obviously wasn't the absolute most efficient game from the field, but at some point, man, we were just having fun with the card. Eight for 14 from three, had those three free throws at the end there, had a surprising seven dunks, in this game, again, that's my favorite part about this Steph Curry is the fact that he's going to be able to dunk the ball consistently. And all around, this Steph Curry is definitely a top tier guard in the game. But unfortunately, he's just not going to be one of the best point guards in the game. And it really actually depends on whose hands it's in because there's definitely some people in the community where if you really know how to use a Steph Curry, this is one of the worst cards to go up against online. Even scarier than Luka in some situations because Curry definitely got way better SIGs. The only thing Luka really has over Curry is height and an unguardable jump shot but Steph Curry in the right person's hands is going to be one of the best cards in the game and because his name is Steph Curry he's going to be going for that unhealthy price which is why I've got to say that he's not going to be worth that price a very fun card to use one of the easiest jumpers to use in the game even though he is six foot three you can kind of compensate for it with that rim protector badge adding some more interior defense that way you're not necessarily getting mashed all day by Cade Cunningham or Luca or whatever tall point guard people have at that one spot he definitely is a fun card though and throughout the year we've had different curry cards we had the pink diamond the galaxy opals they got their runs in my team but unfortunately at this point in the year i don't think i'll be seeing too many people use this card and as far as how easy he's going to be to use compared to other guards that are taller and more forgiving with their jumpers and stuff like that i don't think curry's going to be worth it but again if you are somebody that's been good with steph curry all year you're simply just going to be a problem with this card just make sure you can compensate on the rest of your lineup with some defensive of players so definitely have someone that can lock down a point guard at the two and then switch matchups you definitely want to put curry on a cone and hope they're not going to attack curry with that but the card's definitely usable in my team right now i just don't think he's going to be as easy to use as other cards in the game but again you guys do what you want with your mt i'm just here to tell you what i think about the card i'm probably going to throw him on the lineup once in a while because it's curry man hitting a three with curry in the game just feels so different than hitting it with any other card like when you actually use a sharpshooter it feels so nice Nice. But uh, yeah, man, that was the Wardell Steph Curry show. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And for you new viewers, you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the army, man. 300K is on the way soon. I appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day and take care.